Hey, we're here again at the Drone Doctor's 3D printing shop. Uh, started printing on my anti-cubic Krylon, a big print. I mean, this is a huge print that I was doing. Uh, we was looking at 130 hours to complete this print. Here, what you see here is 74 hours of print. And what happened was and the reason it failed is I was on the uh, Raspberry, had it hooked to my Raspberry, and my Raspberry, I didn't know this, but the filament sensor that's on the anti-cubic works off the board of itself. Whenever you run the anti-cubic, I mean, excuse me, whenever you run the uh, Raspberry, it's a separate component so that means you have to have a filament sensor hooked to the raspberry so what we ended what I ended up doing was using the SD card instead of the raspberry and the filament sensor worked fine then so after that I went and ran another print with just the SD card and the results I got were amazing. So what I'm gonna to have to end up doing is adding another filament sensor connected to the Raspberry if you're gonna be able to have a filament sensor for the Raspberry for this print, for any print. So the next step we'll do is go ahead and try to print this again, but I'm gonna print it just straight from my SD card and see what we have. Okay, here is our final results of the Godzilla and the Metropolitan invasion here. Uh, it took a long time. It was about 130 hours, but the STL file was great on this. And after I'd done some certain types of slicing, it just turned out perfect. And so happens I did paint everything up and all, but... It was a long process, but it was well worth it. I think um, I think I'll do some more printing, some more larger stuff later on. But <clears throat> like I said, on the SD card, it works fine. The filament sensor does. If uh, if you're going to use the Raspberry, I would suggest you to use another filament sensor tied into that one and have it wired to the raspberry and then i'm sure the raspberry will work then so i hope you like it it was a good video of uh this uh print so let's uh let's go to another print that i done uh, i done it a while it's pretty big uh, i really like it I done it for a friend of mine named George. I had about I I guess we had about 32 hours in this print. Uh, it's very detailed, and the STL file on this was whoever drawed it up done a great job. Uh, I didn't have no issues with filament because it didn't take a roll and a half like the Godzilla did. So everything turned out good on it. So I'm very happy with it. So if you have any uh, questions or anything, just send a comment. Um, if you need a profile, I'll send you a profile for the anti-cubic for this Godzilla print or the skull. So hope you have a great day and Hope you see us again. Thank you.